Hello, ladies and gentle folk. We are at the end of our My Chemical Romance listen along as we have reached Danger Days. Um, now, all I will say is that my webcam's not really in the middle. All I will say is that, you know, this has been. It's been something. I'll say that much. Um. I'm still not the biggest My Chem fan, and from what I've heard about this album, it's not exactly going to convert me. So my hopes aren't massive for it. Um, the only real banger on the album that I can see based on the streams is na 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 na. Um, obviously, there's some other names here that I have heard before, such as um, Planetary Go, but that's about it. None of these other ones are really ringing a bell on the top of my mind about if I might have heard them or not. But uh, we're just going to jump straight in, because this is a longer one, and I'm on a time limit here, so let's get shooting straight away. Look Alive Sunshine, which is just an intro for the album. You know, it's an intro for Na 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 Na, which Na 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 is a song I've heard before. Everyone's heard that song before, so let's go. The bass is quite deep on this one. Yeah, right, okay. Uh, best I start talking. I have heard this song, obviously, and I do like this song. It's actually a really good song. And what I'll say is, the singing style on this album is... Well, I say album, sorry, I mean this song. The way the vocals come out in this song sounds so much better than the previous three albums. I don't know if Gerard is doing something specifically for this song, but during these parts... Can't complain. Sounds great. He sounds tolerable. And all I can say about that now, that I've already spoken a little bit about it, is it is, quite confidently, I think, one of the best songs they've ever made. It's simple. It uses the same, you know, like, repetitive thing that I said is cheap for it to be catchy, and I agree. But, you know... It's a good song. I can't. I can't deny that. It's great. Sounds familiar. Might have heard this one. Obviously, in a um, passive sense. I don't actually know it. Yeah, it sounds slightly familiar. Might have heard it on Kerrang. R.I.P. Ooh. That's in a very powerful, big chorus. And that's a massive guitar solo as well, my god. The verses are giving me like... Don't shoot me. It's giving me like hybrids of Good Charlotte bowling for soup. Like just the way this sounds. But the sampling in the background, it adds massively. It's very discreet and subtle, but it's massive. The bridge, you can tell it's building. Sounds good. Again with the samples, or the keyboard, whatever it is. That, oh Jesus Christ, this one's gonna get stuck in my head for a while, I already know that. This is infectious chorus. This is a three cheers kind of chorus. It's very powerful, very good. Very purposely crafted to have that emotional feel to it with how the pitch in the song and the vocals flow. It's got that emotional vibe. I like it. That is probably. I didn't. I didn't even know this song were a thing. How many streams does that have? Sixty-one million. That is probably one of my favourite songs I've heard from these guys. And that was only my first time hearing it. That was great. I enjoyed that a lot. It's not generic, you know, alt rock theme or whatever you want to call it. It was a genuinely good song. Radio rock, sure, but I refuse to believe this is Gerard Way. By the way. No, not that. Oh, credits is what I want to see. 
Uh, yeah, Spotify useless credits. This one's not really getting me the same way. But again, it's just the type of song that it is. It's not a hard rock song. This is more chill. Yeah, that one didn't get me too much, really. Again, it's the type of song that it is. It's more of a... Not a soft song, but you know what I mean. Like, one of those... Less out there rock songs are more of a come together kind of feely good song, and that's just not what I wanted to hear after hearing those first two songs. But yeah, not bad, just not my flavour. Now, as far as I know, this is a massive name. Well, as far as their disc discography goes, as far as like you know the fans are concerned, anyway. So a lot of MCR fans I speak to love this song. So let's see. Funky. I, I do vaguely remember hearing this one, mainly from the chorus. Apologies if I sound a bit far away. I'm trying my best. I just got the cat sleeping on me. Um, yeah, I do vaguely remember this one, but not fully, you know what I mean? It's like, it sounds familiar, and that's about it, but I think I heard this one at the MCR tribute that I saw um, back in the summer. Well, I said the summer, back in June. It's, it's not too bad, it's alright. Okay. Yeah, that one weren't as good as I thought it'd be based on the hype. Well, I say hype. Good reception. Reception? Good reception, I've heard about it. It was alright. Now, this one, the only hope for me is you. This is testing my eyesight now. I'm not that far away from my monitor and I'm struggling to read. Isn't this that song from Coco? Another big chorus. Yeah, it's another very, like, carefully crafted, catchy chorus that's just got a really good feel, good like, feel-good vibe to it. Now, call me crazy, right? Call me crazy, hear me out. I know, as far as this album's sounding at the minute, it's more generic alt-rock. But, if the songs continue like this, I'll be very happy. Because those first two songs, Skip Sing, and this one so far. I'm liking it a fair bit. It's nothing special, don't get me wrong, but it's... As far as, like, MCR goes... I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, that one was... It was alright, I enjoyed that one again. The chorus massively carries this one specifically, but I liked it. It was a good song. Again, a bit on the generic side, but yeah, can't complain. Consistency so far is pretty good. Oh, we got another interlude. I do know this one's structured like a, a news broadcast. There will obviously be law here, but I'm not interested in the law today. I'm interested in the music. If I wanted to explore the law, I'll have a look in my own time. Japanese? Yeah, I'm not feeling this one as much at the moment. Um, yeah, that one were alright. Not as good as some of the other ones so far, but it's still not awful. I'm, I can't lie, it's still not awful. It's just not great. It's decent. Oh, I've heard this one. That na 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 is very familiar. 
I've heard this somewhere. Granted, we're only halfway through the song, but it's like, eh, this one's alright. I think I remember the na 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 part from that tribute thing again. It's sort of sizzling out a little bit now. So just getting to, not the stinkers of the album, but you know, the ones that aren't as good. How long? You're not a parrot. I got you. I'll keep you safe tonight. Hmm. These slower songs aren't tickling my fancy, really. To be fair, apart from the first track, I think a majority of this album, I would say, is unrecognisable as an MCR album. It just doesn't sound like MCR down to the vocals because I've expressed this whole time what I think about Gerard Way as a vocalist I don't really like his style um, and the lyrics don't often help that really but in this album so far the lyrics have been decent oh cats tucked in the keyboard um, the lyrics have been decent so far I say so far we've only got like five left but for a majority of the album the lyrics have been decent and the vocals, it's unrecognisable as Gerard Way in a lot of places. This is his best vocal work at, from MCR. I'll say I say that quite comfortably. Makes me wonder what songs would sound like if he sung them all like this. Yeah, we're okay. Again, like I said, these slower ones really, they're not my kind of thing, so... Sounds like something from Blur, drums wise. It does not sound like Gerard, I'm googling this shit, it does not sound like Gerard Way. Primary inspiration comes from contemporary rock, psychedelic rock and proto-punk from the 60s and 70s. I can kind of hear it, you know. I hear that. Ah, huh. interesting. So, I... I know I'm doing a lot of reading here, which is somewhat putting me off the music, but I'm interested now with how different this sounds. It's saying, um, following the grueli grueling but highly successful tour of the Black Parade, Michael Grommets entered the studio with producer Brendan O'Brien to produce the band's next album. Band exhausted from the touring of the Black Parade and its dark tone wanted to make a conscious break with the sound of the album and take a fun stripped down approach with no concepts, characters, costumes and no extra instrumentation. The band became unhappy with the final results of their recordings with O'Brien. While they felt as though they had achieved their goals, they also felt they were holding themselves back creatively. As a result, the band shelved the album in early 2010 and moved it to the band's label Reprise was supportive of. The sessions with Brendan O'Brien were eventually released in 2012 under the name Conventional Weapons. Right, with you. Right, uh, as far as that song goes, by the way, not my thing. Um, hmm. Actually, this album does has lore, like uh, the previous two. I see. Okay, so based on that quick little bit of research I've just done, it seems as though um, there are plenty of backup vocalists on this album, which explains why this sounds so different. I, I thought I were hearing different voices, but I thought I were crazy. But... Even that aside, Gerard still sounds incredibly different in this album. And he sounds great. He sounds fantastic in this album. And it's a royal shame that he didn't sound like this for the entirety of MCR's lifespan. Because I think I would have enjoyed the other albums a whole lot more. Interesting section. 
Yeah, again, that one's not bad, but it's there's just something that's not doing it for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. The album did start quite well, but it slowly has fizzled out, a bit like Three Cheers did. But I think for the song's highs, they are very high. Some of the band's highest, in my opinion. Five and a half minutes, good lord. Yeah, another one of the slower ones that's alright. It's not really getting me. I don't know. It, I, I do like the general rhythm of the song. It's nice and bouncy, but as far as, you know, trying to captivate me and keep my interest, it's not doing the best of jobs. Here. Long, long outro by the looks of things here. It's, again, another one, it's fine. The slower ones on this album aren't that great, but as far as I said with it, some of the opening tracks, it was good stuff. Oh, so this is the last of the law songs. Okay. Okay, then. Ah, that got me off my phone for a second. Jesus. Huh. Is that a warning? Thankfully not. Well. Nothing in the opening. Nope. We good? We good. Well, that was a strange way to close out the album, I must say. Um, normally, albums close themselves out with something a bit slower, maybe with an emotional tone, or, you know, it just it feels climactic. That was very energetic and over-the-top crazy yet having that nice feel-good vibe to it to finish the, the album off it good outro song i think it would have worked a bit better as one of the openers though but as far as danger days goes i think not obviously na 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 bulletproof heart especially that is probably my favorite song on the album um they were good the only hope for me is you was decent as well planetary gone singer okay party poison was all right save yourself a hold them back was also okay but then after that these ones just kind of drop off but vampire bunny was also good I think as far as like the highs of the album go, it's pretty high. But the lows are just bang average at the best, if not worse. You know, that's my problem with MCR as a whole, I think, is that when it comes to the discographies that I've heard, because obviously I'm, I understand that Weapons is considered an album, but I'm not going to cover Weapons for the simple reason is it's just not, it's just not considered an album on Spotify, and that might make a lot of people pissed off, but, you know, it's, you know, two, two, four, six, eight, ten songs, if there's not three in any of these, you know, they're all two songs long, so, ten songs, of course, it could be considered an album, but it's not on here, they're all just, you know, individual releases, and it was a sort of a shelled version of Danger Days anyway, to some extent, by the sound of it, so, I'm not gonna bother, um, so as far as the, the four studio albums go, that was the end of it. If I had to rank them, I'd probably put, obviously, Three Cheers at the top, followed by Danger Days, Black Parade, and then Bullets. I think that's what sounds about right in this off my head at the minute. Danger Days pleasantly surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be too great, but yeah, I um, I, saw, I sort of enjoyed this one. It was all right. Obviously, when it was really good, it was really good. Like, at the start, especially, like I say, with Bulletproof Heart, that is probably one of my no, new favourite MCR songs. Um, but the rest of it's just ranges from average to shite to bang average so you know shame that it fizzled out quite quickly but no as far as mcr goes that was educational do i still understand the band i don't understand the band still don't get it don't get the hype they're not as good as everyone says they are but they've made some good songs and i can't deny that um so yeah as far as mcr goes we are finished 
Um, unless I decide to check out weapons if I ever feel like it. But now we're done. Uh, who am I covering next? I couldn't fucking tell you. I think next up, I'm interested in Pierce the Veil. I have heard like Clyde with the Sky, obviously, but the rest of it, I haven't really heard. I've heard bits of the Jaws of Life, and that's about it. So, yeah, I might cover Pierce the Veil. Um, and if not Pierce the Veil, I was thinking maybe going over Slaughter to Prevail, which is a massive tonal shift. I understand that much. Um, later in the year, say December, November time, I want to re you know revisit everything Slipknot's done, even though uh, the show I'm going to is only self-titled being played i'd like to cover slipknot again it's been a while and then in the new year i want to cover motionless in white before i go to that um concert as well because it's just nice to get a refresher but that's some time away yet we've still got some other content to churn out so yeah as far as it goes happy days i thought danger days were decent uh and mcr as a whole again still don't get the band they're not one of my favorite bands i'm not by a massive stretch no but um i guess i can appreciate that they've made some good songs and move on and that's about it for me. So, yeah, um, I don't know who we're doing next, but when I decide, I'll um, obviously you'll find out when I upload the video. So, yeah, thanks a ton for watching and uh, following along. Hopefully, I don't offend too many people by hating on the band because I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just being honest. And, yeah, we'll, um, we'll see you next time.